we, we landed yesterday and everything's been such a whirlwind, so we've hardly seen hardly anything. anything. So it, it's just so weird to watch it. You loved it, didn't you? Every moment I loved it. Every aspect of camp life. I didn't like the trials, but everything else, I just, I loved being in there. That first trial you did, though, where there's the three of you before Spence went out, was mm. watching you do it, I was thinking, she's not going to last five minutes. That's what I thought, did actually. You? When you first went in, I thought, this is not for you. This is not for no. you. No. Well, I think that's why I got voted to, to do yeah. the trials. Um, when Lady C was exempt from the trials, it was always inevitable, it's mm. going to be Fern. Mm. So um, I think everyone was like, yeah, let's vote her. She's going to be another kind of Helen Flanagan or Gillian McKee. She's not going to do it. But I just had it in me. I thought, I can't, I can't, you know, I just have to do it. And food's so important. You're winning your meals at camp. So I just had to get through it. Your mental strength took over and you were brilliant. You were absolutely, you. absolutely brilliant. And for you, yeah. I mean, you were, you're all the way through, you were great. You had two little wobbles, didn't you? Yeah, it was really weird. I don't know what came over me. Just like, it was like an, a sense of just being trapped and like mm. you can't go anywhere to like hide and just like have a little bit of moments to sort of like break down what's happening and what's going on. And before these guys came in, before Vic and Fern went in, it was very, sort of mature like everybody in the camp was like almost like middle middle life crisis sort of thing everyone was talking about it was like it was it was like it. It is just that, is very that how you've, you've quali qualified them all there was there was the young ones and then there's yeah. the ones having a midlife crisis who've gone Basically. in the jungle well this everyone expected us young ones to have the barneys and have the yeah. conflict and confrontation but it was the complete opposite and every morning we'd wake up and just look at each other like Mum and mum and dad are out. It, it like they're literally there was the rows were just intense. It's so intense. I yeah. think that's where you have your low moments. But you've said that actually when you were in there, particularly the lady seed thing, which has mm -hmm. just got bigger and bigger oh, and God, bigger yeah. over here. But when you were in there watching it, did you realise the effect it was having back here and in the press and what people were talking about? Did you feel like it was that bad? Not at all. I think Lady C, you look at her and she's such a fascinating character. Mm. Like to begin with, I was like in love with her. I was like, you are the most amazing, sassy woman I've ever met in my life but then it starts like great on you and you're kind of like okay so, sort of start disagreeing with some of the like views on class and all that stuff and it's mm. and then you kind of like okay this is and then when Spencer came when and you guys yeah. came in like yeah lady sees looking like do it's... you do you think that at some point someone should have tried to, uh, one of the younger people that you know I know eventually I think Vicky did but mm. should have stepped in a bit sooner and gone hold on a sec everybody just calm down let's think about what you're saying here because it was it was difficult because obviously you want it did take over camp life and it become you know very frustrating and difficult to live with but you can kind of take yourself off and be away from it but of course like every single one of us tried to intervene but there was no stopping them no. you get to the point you where know, you sit there like okay this is awkward now we can't we just walked um, away in the end so forget all that yeah. let's get to the real nitty gritty of the situation what is this because this is going very You're sitting close, very close. Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> body language. Close. I keep thinking like a hand's yeah. going to go on a leg at some point. Um, should we have a look at the evidence and then yes. we'll discuss? Go on then. <laughs> He's been having cuddle time, like. We've had two cuddles. You've got such a magic touch in your hands. George is a lovely guy. I really like him. Your whole weight's on me. It wasn't sneaky. <laughs> I mean, are you sure you don't fancy him? But it's nice to still have your, like, your little best buddies in here, do you know what I mean? Like, I proper get on with George. Should we make up a song? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be all right? We'll be fine. Yeah, just as long as... as there's no creepy recording. Yeah. Can't love me like you. So you proper get on with George, but are you going to oh. proper get it on with him? <laughs> it's your question, not mine. <laughs> I'm like, look, no, at you. no, look, do you know what? We, we got so close in there, and we were the youngest two people in the camp, and it was inevitable that we was going to get on. Do you fancy on. him? I, I love... I've skipped the fancy stage. Like, I, I love him, do you know what I mean? And I think we just get on very much well as friends. I'm yeah, sure really red. Stop. And sorry, I don't... I know this okay. is really mean, but it's well, really mean, but it's well, because we're, we're invested yeah. in it. Yes. That's why. Yeah, so and I and just... the two of you clearly get on very well. You're being very yeah. physical with each other as well. George, would you like it to go <laughs> further than it has? I think, do you know, we've, we've like said it's kind of like being put in a pressure cooker, the whole situation in the jungle. 
and we obviously get on. We've obviously got like a connection, <laughs> and I don't know. It's just it's just going to be. I think we're looking forward to just ex sort of seeing what happens. I mean, yeah. is that we sort of you know is this an Ollie Murs, Caroline Flack thing where forever we're going? Are they? Are they? Are we they? Are you going to tease us? Are there. you going to keep kind of? We're not. Do you know what everyone keeps saying? Oh, it might be. You know, it must be a showman's blah, blah blah. It's the complete no. opposite to a show a showman's. What me and George have is genuine. We've got like a fantastic friendship, and you're just gonna. We've just got back. <laughs> Excuse you know me, I, mean? I just sneezed. Sorry, so you had, the, you had the rap do, you had the rap do. Mm -hmm. uh, was there any action that the rap do? <laughs> Did you kiss? That's your question. No. <laughs> <laughs> saying, it's my question. No, yeah, we didn't have. kiss. No, we haven't kissed. No, not at all? No. Well, yeah, like, I think oh. we probably you're, kissed. You, did you kiss no, her? I, you look you, suspicious. I, I, you no, we didn't. We honest. didn't. We're, I've, I've I can't stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what it is? The British public always love... A, like, love, they love. always yeah. want we love that. that romance, and especially on a show like I'm a Sebe, they're like, who's going to get it on? But you must love a bit of romance as well, though, I'm right? a sucker for it. Do you know what I mean? And I'm. It's right there. It is, there you go. Um, can I ask you about Vicky? Because yeah. before you went in, everybody thought there was going to be fireworks. Yeah. There was a bit of things with somebody you were dating that she was seen dating Jesus. and then blah 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 yeah <laughs> <laughs> well gel over there isn't um, um, and actually oh, when that. you were in there it was like all of that went out the window totally you know what it is with me and Vic I, I even thought that we were going to be really similar and that we were going to clash but we were, we were the complete opposite and we just got on so well whatever happened in the past I just kind of I never hold grudges she doesn't we forgot about all of that and I am so glad that she was in there because she was like my my best bud in there and so, you learn yeah. and something you learn it's something you said to one of our researchers was how quickly you judge somebody you don't know and then actually totally. when you do find out and you do get that moment to meet them it's totally mm. different so pleased that I I met her and um, just gained an amazing friend for life. I know it's cringe and everyone's like, no, you know, no, no. you've got the bridesmaid now, you've got your future <laughs> husband. It's all ready to go. We'll do the wedding. We're yeah. looking for people. <laughs> it's lovely to see you both. Thank you for keeping us so entertained as well. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Really brilliant. I'm looking forward Thank to it you. happening, developing. <laughs> so on Bye. and so on.